Hey, what's up, guys? It's Spotlights with my very first Vendetta Films Adobe After Effects tutorial. And uh, today I'll be talking about how I personally use Twixter. I think that people have their own um, different variations of their or of the way they use Twixter. And uh, this is just the way I use it. So, first of all, you kind of want to have a footage with a high frame rate usually around 59.94 to 60 frames per second even better if you can get better uh, or higher frame rate so right now you'll see I have this two for one clip and I'm just gonna drag it to my drag it to my uh, into my composition and you'll see it's just normal uh, two for one I mean, these are one of my clips. They're pretty bad, but it's just just an example. So, typically with a Twixter, you'll want to people usually slow it down before or after clips. That's just what people typically do, especially for Call of Duty. So for this example, I'm gonna slow it down right after I get the two for one. So I'm just gonna go forward a few frames and then let's say I want to slow it down right here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click shift command D on the Mac to split the clip right where it is um, or you could just do it up here you could just go to help and split split layer here it is edit split layer split layer um, so, before uh, you begin, you're going to want to check off the frame blend switch, switch. and then you're going to want to switch that to the solid line as opposed to the dotted line. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to go to layer, frame blending, and then turn it to pixel motion. Okay, so once you have that set up, you'll see that the clip is no different, but you but what you will notice is that it's taking a, a bit more time to render in the preview. Um, so this pretty much means you're doing the right thing so far. So now we're going to type in Twixter. You can use Twixter or Twixter Pro, but I find obviously that Twixter Pro is more useful and I find less distortion. But Twister, the normal version of Twister, uh, should work just fine. So I'm gonna drag Twister Pro onto my clip. And you'll see that there's a lot of distortion. Um, a few things that you wanna change in the Twister effects tab is the fr input frame rate. So you see if we go back to our project that our frame rate is 59. 0.94 frames per second. You're gonna want to change this to exactly what your frame rate is on the clip and what it should be in the composition. So I'm gonna type in 59.94. So and as you can see, the distortion is gone. Okay. So let me just expand this right here. And so we wanted this have a little slow motion right here so what I'm gonna do is keep him the speed right here at 100 right so at this point in time everything is moving smoothly it's important for you to start off with a with the keyframe starting at at 100 because if I started at 5% then you'll see it'll go back in time so you definitely want to start off on the 100 percent speed so and then since we want to slow slow down right here we're gonna go forward just a few frames you can do the next frame but I find that uh, I get a lot of distortion just going to frame right after and so I'm gonna change the speed down to 2 and you'll see that 
it's playing at in very slow motion. So I'm gonna do a little RAM preview to show how smooth it is exactly. Alright, so as you see I well as you see I can't render our RAM preview all this. I'm sorry, my apologies, I'm on a pretty bad computer. But you'll see the small amount of movement, which is just what I want. Now, let's say I want it to be a little bit faster, show a little bit more movement. And you have to be careful on the amount of movement in the picture. Movement is a, is a good way to get distortion. So usually you're going to want to put slow motion where there isn't going to be a lot of movement for that, so the Twixture can look the best. So let's say if I want it to be a little bit faster, I'm just going to delete that 2 and then just change it to 10. And then we'll see. That it moves a little bit faster. I'm not going to do RAM preview this time, which it would be just a waste of time. But yeah, okay. So we have our clip, it's already twisted out. But then you say, Well, there's another sick play after I get this, after I get this two form. If you fast forward, you'll notice that this. You'll notice that the clip isn't doesn't finish when you, you when you apply Twixter. It kind of just shuts off in the middle of the clip. Um, people find this frustrating. I know that there's, I know that the actual company has their own YouTube page and they show how they do it. But I think that the way they show it is a little bit time consuming. It involves a lot of compositions. So I definitely think that the way I'm about to show you to extend your clip and have it play throughout the entire duration is the best way and the fastest way and maybe even the smoothest way if you do it correctly. So pretty much what we want to do is make this clip longer. All we're going to do is go to layer. Well, you're going to have to click this. Click your, click your clip, get a layer, time, then go to enable time remapping. Pretty much what you're going to want to do is simply extend. Just extend the clip. That's what timer mapping does for those of you who aren't too familiar in After Effects. And you'll see that it, it's playing beyond, beyond um, where it was ending before. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial, guys. If you want to what I usually do if I want to go back to normal motion I would usually just say okay the speeds at 10% right now it's moving at a constant rate of a, of a speed of 10 pretty much I'm going to keyframe it right here and then go one frame up and then keyframe it to 100 back up to 100 and you'll see it's playing normally it's playing more um, more quickly. Uh, so that's pretty much it. But what I usually do is I just split it, split the clip right when it turns to 100, and then I just drag the drag the same clip without twist or apply to it, just so that there's no distort when it's playing normal. So that's just me. Um, thanks for watching, guys. My first Adobe After Effects tutorial. Feel free to leave comments and uh, suggestions for what you would like Vendetta Films or me, myself, and I to do a tutorial on in the future. It would be appreciated, and uh, we'll try to get to as many tutorials as we can to keep the keep the uh, channel going, keep it active. All right, guys, thanks for watching.